Oh, oh that let gonna, that get out. Is that let gonna, that. Is that gonna be my first? It's my first home run, baby. Let's go with the power swing. So you see Daddy my power Pops. went up. Daddy Batting Pops. clutch went up. First double A home run. Let's go. Daddy Pops is in the building. <laughs> power swing. Power swing game. Oh, man. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to PlayStation Underground. On today's show, a special episode. We are playing MLB The Show 18, and I am joined by Ramon Russell from San Diego Studio. Ramon, it is always a pleasure to have you, even when you are sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> it is always a pleasure to be here, even when I am teetering on exhaustion and passing out. But it's okay. It's okay. It's teetering? Awesome. I think teetering. you're there, man. You think I'm there? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, I appreciate you being here. We want to look at some of the new things coming to the road to the show, which is, of course, is and remains a huge staple to the MLB series. You guys have, you know, poured a lot of effort into this, uh, you know, iteration of road to the show. Walk me through what we're going to see today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in here and play one of the amateur showcase games. And we, we didn't even introduce our creative player. No, we haven't. We're about to, though. We're about to introduce the world okay. to Daddy Pops. Yeah, Daddy Pops. Daddy Pops, baby. Daddy Pops is here. Daddy He's Pops. starting his career on PlayStation Underground. I'm feeling good about Daddy Pops. Yeah, no, I'm feeling great. I mean, you look Daddy Pops in the eye in those <laughs> in those crystal clear eyes, and you're going to feel good. But you, can, you can't see his eyes because he got on shades, though. That's just how smooth he is. Well, that's why you got to get into his inner circle. <laughs> and then and then once you earn the trust of Daddy Pops, then then life really opens up. You got to earn the trust. Yeah. All right, so here we go. I'm fielding already with my really, really not great Daddy Pops <laughs> shortstop because I chose bad over everything. Yeah, of course. But, you know. You just wanted to keep things interesting. So we, we, we're fielding right now. We just saw one of the new features uh, for fielding when you're in the infield for this game. Um, Chris Gill, who helped design Road to the Show this year, uh, when we were talking to people and looking back at things that we could improve on, there were some plays, if you were playing in the infield, that you just couldn't make, right? The ball was just hit too hard, and like as a human, you just don't have the <laughs> reflexes to move fast enough to make plays on, on balls uh, hit so fast. So we saw that even though the ball wasn't hit towards me, the game slowed down and gave me a moment to try to judge and make a jump on that ball. So that's one of the new things that we've done in Road to the Show. Uh, gameplay is always very, very important. And we've done a lot for gameplay. And all of those gameplay additions come over to Road to the Show as well. And here I am, first at bat for Daddy Pops, and I ground it out. It's not. It's not. It's not going to help my calls out, man. It's no, not it's not. It's not helping. But Daddy Pops always stays positive. Always stays positive. He's always looking ahead and into the future. And he that looks horizon good. is beautiful. Hey, Daddy yeah. Pops looks good. Hey, no, if you look especially good, especially for his advanced age. Yeah, <laughs> you look good. You feel good. You play good. <laughs> That's actually one of the things that I've always loved when you know when you bring uh, MLB by. It's it's always great to see the gameplay diversity that you know is built into the uh, to the show in general, mm -hmm. but also Road to the Show is keeping you on your toes, giving you a lot of positions to play, and it just kind of gives you that whole experience of baseball, but from a lot of different perspectives, which awesome. I always appreciate. Awesome. And so you see, we, we use batting stance creator, so we created our own batting stance. And then the play before, when that ball was hit to me, you saw that new feature that I just mentioned that Chris Gill implemented this year, where we slow the game down and we try to let you see which way the ball is going, mm. so you can try to make a jump on that ball. Here's the cool thing. If you don't want to do that, if you want to play like it worked last year, you can turn that off. And you'll right. never be able to make those plays, <laughs> just like you couldn't do last year. You guys always are giving uh, the players as many options as they want, which I also appreciate. All right, I need I need a base hit here. Da Daddy Pops needs some. Needs I need a, a base hit. hit. My, my batting stance looks fantastic. Not gonna swing at that. Daddy Pops doesn't swing at anything unless he can hit it. Gonna keep using Daddy Pops in, in life in general. Life in general. Yeah. I think there's a lot we can learn from Dave. <laughs> there's a lot we can learn. And here we see we, we're, we're looking two guys that were created from our random uh, generator. You can see our skin tones are so much more lifelike than now PS4 skin tones or PS4 textures. Same thing with the eyes and the hair. All those things should look a lot better this year. And I struck out twice. <laughs> Daddy Pops, I'm not, is, Daddy, Daddy Daddy Pops, Pops is, is doing great. Is not having a good. All right, last fielding opportunity. I've made two fielding blunders already. Let's see if I can not go 0 for 3. Remember when we talked about how you just got off the plane and you were really tired? <laughs> well, we got to give you some slack. All right, made a play. Got him out. All right, there we go. 
All right, doing well. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut here, and we're going to fast forward to after the draft so we can talk about base gains and how we make Daddy Pops the best he can be. Okay, Ramon, we're back. So now we are looking we are ahead. We are back. We are in, at the draft. It's time to get drafted. You know, Ooh, I feel I'm really, nervous. I feel really, really good. Round 27. So, again, this goes back to what I was talking about. You know, when, when Steve Marker and Nick Livingston and the guys were working on Road to the Show, one of the things was, like, we're telling the journey of you're not the top guy. You're not a top prospect. You're not being drafted in <laughs> any of the first ten rounds. You're a really, really late late round drafted. But it doesn't matter in life where you start. Yeah. It matters where you finish, right? Yeah, that's the so motto So where are we Daddy getting Pops. drafted? Oh, I'm, I'm Atlanta? ready. Atlanta? We going to Atlanta? Is it happening? Is it happening? Show me Daddy Pops. Oh, yeah, Pops. ATL. Here we come. Let's go. Daddy Pops. Congra Daddy Pops. Congratulations, Is an Daddy. Atlanta Brave <laughs> moving to the ATL. They got a brand new stadium, too. So here I have a choice, you know. So what happens next? Daddy, we just got the call you've been waiting for. I've been waiting a long time because we've drafted in 27 <laughs> rounds. But, you know, I, I kind of was hoping to be drafted oh, early, okay, you know. Okay. I was, I, you know, it's a 40-round draft, you know. Um, it's cool, though. Yeah. It's cool. It's, it's, all let right. it, it's all right. Let it roll right off your it's beautiful roll. shoulders. I'm using that. I have a chip on my shoulder that is 26 rounds big. No, and we're going to patch our, that it's, right it's up. It's our job to get that to slowly chip away at that shoulder. <laughs> I'm ready to play pro ball. Let's go. We're going to chip away at this boulder because he's kind of pissed he was a 27th round draft. No, player. he's doing but great. We're going to prove everybody wrong. Yeah. Especially everyone that attended that first game that we played, which <laughs> and we, did do we so weren't hot. doing so hot. But you know what? That's a, yeah. Look at how confident Daddy Pops is when he the enters chops. the room. You know, it's a real vote of confidence that the organization sent you here in less than a year after you were drafted. You think you're ready for some A ball, double A ball. I know I am. Yep. I know I am. All right, Daddy, Daddy, do you know your <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how a journey of a thousand miles begins? I'll tell you what. With I a sure good breakfast, right? Yeah, with a good it, breakfast. It begins with a good breakfast. Yep. Steak it's and eggs, but we probably step. won't be eating that in the minors. Yep. Okay. I'll try to remember that. Thank you. Man, oh, man. This game oh. is so much better with Daddy Pops at All the right. helm. And so here we go. Perf the show 18 performance gains activated. Again, it's going back to when we first jumped in the road to the show. What were the big changes? What were the big features? Base gains, baby. Uh, <laughs> Steve Merker and the team. The way it worked last year was you earn training points just for doing stuff. And those training points were put into a bank. And after a game, you could spend them wherever you wanted to. Those days are long gone. Your training points now are auto spent. However, you control how you earned them. So let's see how that process actually works. Show me. Show me all, all right, of it. We're gonna jump in the game. Ooh, we're batting fourth. I like that. And we got a star by our name. Yeah, that signifies the pops and daddy pops. And we've also improved on our player portrait shots, and all these guys are created. They're smiling. They're happy. <laughs> He's happy because their <laughs> ERA is at zero right now. <laughs> Those were some big smiles. Nice, beautiful, uh, beautiful stadium. Here we go. Beautiful stadium. Look at it's a nice Warren day. Quick. <laughs> Warren Quick. Is, that, is, is Warren Quick a real person? No. I, okay. Right now, all these guys are fake because we're in the minors. Okay. So now you see we have we actually have on a real minor league uniform now. And this is our first at-bat road to the show. No pressure here. Yeah, no, no pressure. pressure. Show me Daddy Pops. And I popped up. Yeah. Uh, well, Pop up. is in the name. Yep. Yep. Pops is on the Pop, back of your Pops jersey. Is, yep. And he, your he uniform. I don't know what it's officially called. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to use all the wrong all terms. All right, got to field an opportunity. I, 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 I can get, gain some points here. Mm -hmm. This is what you were. One out, so this is a double play situation. This is what you were born to do uh, until you picked the wrong archetype for the here we go. job. And again, we saw the new feature that we talked about earlier. That ball was hit too hard for me to react, so the game slowed down. Mm -hmm. And here, base gains. Because I made a good play, I got an improvement in reaction and my arm accuracy. And that's how everything works in Road to the Show now. If you want better arm accuracy, you want better reaction, make better plays in the field. If you're trying to improve your, your, your bat, we got a hit. So I need a hit. Daddy Pops needs a hit. <laughs> so we can talk about base games. <laughs> Let's go. Drop. And oh. 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 Come on. So you see I got it. I got plate vision. I got a plus in plate vision. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. That'll help you. Ooh, and that's nice. Daddy Pops. All right. First base hit. There so we, we go. should see some base gains here. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
He's going to play it safe. Contact right. So our contact right improved because we got a base hit against a right-handed pitcher. And is that all? So but during Road to the Show, are you always getting this like incremental experience yes. as you're playing? Yes. All of the training points are auto-allocated and they're auto-spent based on your performance. Fantastic. We, we just saw that. I got a single against a right-handed pitcher. I got my contact right uh, going up. So I'm sure people at home are wondering how in the world do I increase my power? Well, you increase your power by power swinging. Mm, okay. Nice. Oh. Uh oh, base <laughs> running blunder. Base running blunder. Oh. <laughs> and I got back. I can't believe I got back. Oh, I can't believe I got back. You did it. Daddy. I can't believe I got back. Someone was, someone was looking out for Daddy Pop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I got back. All right. Let's let's uh let's, let's not uh, let's not do that again. So we got one out. Get a little lead. All right. We're going three. Yep. I think we may be going more than three. Should we try it? We're going to try it. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. <laughs> Daddy Pops is safe. <laughs> Daddy Pops is safe with my, like, 44 speed. Beautiful. Our, our career starting off wonderfully. Yeah. You know, you know, it wasn't that great, you know, in the showcase games. It wasn't that first at bat wasn't great. But, but, but now, you know, we're moving. You know, I'm not – you know, I don't watch baseball all the time, if you couldn't tell. But I rarely see a player just kind of meander along <laughs> off base and then able to make it back to the plate. That was quite wonderful. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. And nice. again, so I, I did nice. right. Plus reaction, plus arm accuracy, plus building. Those, those, the ticking of experience, that's just satisfying all my RPG cravings. Indeed, Road to the Show uh, is an RPG. Yeah, it's, it's a, a baseball RPG, but it is an still RPG. Counts. One for two, I'm hitting 500. <laughs> hitting 500. <laughs> he's, just, he's so happy. He's so happy. He's like, yeah, yeah, you know what's going on. <laughs> all right, so I'm a power swing here. I'm a power swing. I'm not going to swing at the first pitch. Probably should have. <laughs> Probably should have swung at that. PlayStation Underground is about learning opportunities, Ramon. Ooh, and I took a ball here. Okay, okay. Base game plate discipline. Didn't mm. swing at that pitch, and it was a ball. So I got a small incremental increase Always in my plate vision attribute. Ooh. And I did a power swing and popped that up. Is there <sighs> ever a chance that they just they may miss the catch on those? Very, very small. Very small. Uh, very okay. small. Or it has to be a situation where he's supposed to miss that catch. So I'm okay. still, I'm still power swinging. Okay. I'm looking for something to drive. Oh, that would have went out. That would have went out. All right. <sighs> so now I'm going to use my Showtime, and Showtime was a feature we introduced, I believe, two years ago, where you can slow time down for about one pitch a game. And I swung and missed. <laughs> that was such an awesome display and demonstration of how to use that feature. <laughs> what you were trying to do is show all contingency plans. Yes, you know, now. the contingency plan was for me to hit that ball. No, that's just what Daddy Pops wanted you to and think. And I struck out. That's terrible. And I used my Showtime. So the way that Showtime works for those that haven't played the game or new to MLB the show, uh, it's a resource uh, that gains over the time over the course of the games. And you can either slow down one pitch, probably once a game, or maybe every few games, mm -hmm. or you can use it uh, when you're in the field as well and trying to make a really great play. Okay, so I just need to get a guy out. Just need to get a guy out. It's my... Arm strong enough. Got my out. Nice. And there's my base gains for my and arm accuracy in fielding. And you got your arm accuracy up. We won that game, y'all. There you go. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank I'm you. We won that game. I'm uh, flying. I went Daddy three for pops. one. You know, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I had three at bats. I had two hits. I got one run. So I didn't go three for one. I went, I went two for three. It's not bad. It's not bad. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to return to the clubhouse. Or we could just play the next game. Like, you don't have to go back to the front end to, to, to basically uh, resim a game, right? Sure. If you want to just keep playing games, you can stay in there. You can play all those games 
at that stadium. So if it's a three-game homestand, you never have to go back to the front end. It just re reloads right into the game so you can play more games quick. And that's a feature we added a few years ago. So this is – now we're looking at the full uh, base game screen. And there's a lot of stuff going on right here. So first we see our current overall. We're 50 out of 99. So it's not great. It's not bad either. I mean, we could be a 25. But let's look what I did. So remember those base hits I got for contact uh, versus right? My contact versus right went up. I struck out, though. Yeah, I struck out, and I wasn't able to check swing. So as we see here, my plate vision, plate discipline, I'm sorry, went down. Interesting. And, okay. And everything else went up just a little bit. So it's not always an upward climb. Sometimes you're going to have always. a misstep. There, there's, this ev there's this ebb and flow going on. Okay. There's this ebb and flow. So we're going to jump in and play one more game real quick. Do it. See where we are. Um, in well, well, we're loading into that game. I just kind of want to go over again some of the the road to the show improvements, which you already touched on at the top of the show. Which is again, I think the big one: no microtransactions. No in microtransactions. Road to the show. They're gone. Uh, and like you know, like you've been showing us, it's really all about how you play and and what you're doing um, to get better and not create giant superheroes that uh, do, cannot exist in real life. But you you can still create a superhero. He just, just a can't little be more realistic. He can't be 99 at everything. When you're choosing your archetype, you have to decide on what's important to you. What type of guy do you want to be? Do you want to hit for contact? Do you want to hit for power? Do you care about fielding? Do you want to steal bases? Do you want to bunt? Because you can't be a jack of all trades. So thus, the, you got to the my second point, the archetype system, mm -hmm. creating more distinct uh, Road to the Show players. You already touched on it too, but the revamp textures, I mean, you guys are constantly improving your visuals every year, but that is something that we want to call out again. And uh, yeah, the, the batting stance creator as well, which gives you just another little touch of, uh, of personalization on your Road to the it's Show character. It's all about play of personalization on Road to the Show. Give me my drop down. Yes, okay, got another base hit. Should give me some base game. So we're in a minor league stadium. Another thing, uh, feature that we did for Road to the Show is all of our minor league stadiums. We redid all of the backdrops. And so we'll pause the game right here and we'll take a look. Oh, let's take a little look. So last year and all the other PS4 games, these were like 2D sprites. Now these are high res PS4 textures mm. and 3D models with geometry. Beautiful. All right, here we go. I need a base hit with this power swing. I believe in you, Daddy Pops. <laughs> 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 so you can see that. So again, here we can see the improved skin textures, uh, improved skin tones. These guys look so much more realistic this year, and that that is all thanks to our wonderful art department and graphics department working real hard as they always do. Oh, oh let that get out. Is that let that. Out? That could be my first. It's my first home run, baby. Let's go with the power swing. So you see Daddy my power Pops. went up. Daddy, Daddy Pops. Clutch went up. First double A home run. Let's go. Daddy Pops is in the building. <laughs> power swing. Power swing game. Oh, man. You, oh. <laughs> Oppo. And I went Oppo with that shot, too. He did like 10 push-ups before the game. That gave uh -huh. me the extra juice. Yeah, I could see the veins popping out. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That little that flying high five mm, at the end. Oppo Taco, 358 feet. And there's a new laser ri ribbon. So uh, Kirby and Ross and Michael Compton, all the guys on the presentation team, they've done a lot of work on all of our presentations. Mm -hmm. That was one of the new ones where we show you we'll have laser ribbons for certain hits. Awesome. Uh, sometimes when you see the pitcher, you'll see laser rib ribbons on pitches as well. And again, the game's slowing down so I can make this play. Oof. I'm doing nice. well. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling yeah. good. I'm getting these base games. I'm, I'm having a really good day right now. Daddy Pops was just showing you that sometimes you need to warm up, let yourself get into the flow, and it's hey, all great. Hey, it's gravy not how you there. start the game, it's how you finish. Absolutely. How do you have all these one liners just baked <laughs> into your head, man? I don't uh, understand. I was, I was thinking about them on the plane. So. Okay, yeah, that was your whole That was my whole That was thing. your whole flight. The whole thing. So here's so do I keep going with power swing because it worked or do I switch it up? I think I'm gonna keep going power swing. Okay. And you see I didn't swing at that ball. Sure. Got a got base game plate, and play yeah, and play. Got and some plate discipline. Mm -hmm. Getting those experience points. Oof. Ooh, that that might that might come back to haunt me. All right. That that look that looked tough. I don't know. I don't even know how if I'd be able to do this competently at all. <laughs> Right, and we're always adding, you know, nuanced stuff into the game. We're always trying to give people more of what they want. Uh, for instance, we've added a lot of new batting cameras into the game. Oh, nice. I was nice. using Strike Zone 3. I'm going to switch to another one. It's it's all about choice. You can use – just try to find something that you like. 
that you can see the strike zone and get good hacks. How do you Not guys like pick, you know, your default experience for 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 MLB the we Show 18? We try to cater it towards what we think the vast majority of people right. like. And, and then, how do you guys find that out? I mean, is that through player testing? Is that through, like, community outreach? Internal I mean, testing. Do do? Internal testing uh, with the design team and everybody on the team. Sure. Um, we, uh, we do a lot of external testing as well and community feedback. So it's a, mi a mix of all those things. Awesome. Yeah, that's great because even, even in a game, like, uh, did you just get hit? No, I, well, I, I think oh, I okay. did. Did I get a walk? <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Was that a walk? I think, I, I think he hit me on my big toe. That stings. He hit me on my big when toe. You, when you hit, you know, when you hit that table leg with your big toe, that always that's not a good morning to have. Daddy pops nose. Daddy pops nose. All right, here we go. All right, no outs. Man on first. Double play here. Double play. Ooh. Ooh, did he snag that? Can I get him? Ah. <laughs> So what I need to do to be able to make that play in the future, I need to increase my arm strength, mm, okay. right? Because I'm, I'm not weak enough to do that. So another new thing gameplay-wise for Road to the Show is we've made your fielding ability, which is your ability to field very well, we've made that a little bit, we've made that a little bit more important this year. The higher your fielding ability is, the higher the propensity you have a chance to make some spectacular plays. So as you're playing Road to the Show and you're improving your guy, when you start to dump points into the fielding ability attribute, you're going to see your guy has a propensity to make more spectacular plays on some of those hard-to-get balls mm -hmm. when you're uh, playing a corner outfield, uh, second base, third ba uh, second base, and shortstop. Is that a double? That's a double. Beautiful. Let's go. I think that might be a triple. I think that's going to be a triple. Are we? Oh, no, 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 go back. Ooh. You're good. You're good. Oh, power versus right batting clutch. Use power swing. Got a double. So, of course, my power went up. Mm -hmm. Of course. And here's another full speed replay. So this is another new presentation element that Kirby, Ross, and Compton worked on this year. We have full speed replays. How often does the team generally watch actual baseball as opposed to the work in it? Quite a lot. Um, not as much, obviously, uh, when we're heavy into <laughs> yeah, I was uh, gonna making say. the game. <laughs> but I think on average we watch anywhere from 20 to 100 games Whew. per person. Wow. So you guys kind of know, know a lot about baseball. Huh, here's a re is this a replay of my Apo Taco? Yes, it is. Boom. See, I'm, this is foreshadowing because I'm about to do this again. Now, that's what's <laughs> happening right now. It's a literary device to describe. Okay, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling right, good. Yep. Ramon's feeling good. up and down in his chair. Feeling good. He's, he's got the sense that feeling it's about good. to happen again. Feeling good. Ladies and gentlemen. Take, oh, he's stealing. I'm going to let him steal, though. Okay. And he's safe. I got an RBI chance. So I just, I just need a base hit. So, so I'm not taking any chances. I'm going to go back to one of the new batting cameras, strike zone three. And we're going to make this happen. All right, we're going to make this happen or we're not going to make this happen. And I'm going to fail. And it, 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 won't be what, it won't be great. Here we go. No, it'll be good. Mm, mm, that's all right. Two strikes. Let's not strike out. So I'm lowering, I'm lowering my expectations mm -hmm. right now. That's what's happening. Yep. That's what I'm doing as well. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Blue. That should have been a strikeout. <laughs> Maybe could have been called a strike, but that's okay. That's okay. I appreciate I appreciate the umpire. And thanks, all MLB. Our, yeah, thanks, MLB. And all our umpires have their own interpretations of the strike zone. Ooh, got it. Okay. Well, it's 2-2 two -two count. Plate discipline went up. 2-2 two -two count. You're definitely the most disciplined when it comes to the plate, Ramon. Let's see if I can be disciplined getting this ball over the wall. Nope. Uh-oh. Wait. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Wait, is that going to drop? Oh, yes, here we go. Got okay. another RBI. Ground rule double. Look at that. Batting clutch power and contact versus right went up. I'm having, I'm having a wonderful game. Yeah, that, that was Daddy beautiful. Daddy Pops is having a really good game. And you know what? You didn't strike out, so that was already by default. And it was a an 0-2 count. Like, it yeah. was an 0-2 count. I battled. I got it to 2-2, and got my pitch, and drove it. And this might, I think this might be uh, the last play of this game if I can get it because I don't think I'm going to get another at bat if we're in the eighth inning. Well then, as we as we wind down, Ramon, is before we. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm, so that was 
as we wind down, uh, before the game comes to an end and before our show comes to an end, not the show, just this show, mm -hmm. tell me uh, kind of parting thoughts on uh, what people, especially, you know, longtime MLB The Show players should be looking forward to the most with uh, The Show 18. Uh, so it, a lot. Um, gameplay is king. Gameplay is always king. Uh, we've done a ton of work in gameplay. Uh, we spent probably six months working on hitting. Uh, trying to make hitting um, as rewarding as it can be, but also keeping that integrity of baseball. Remember in baseball, you f if you fail seven out of ten times, you go to the Hall of Fame. That's a 300 batting average. <laughs> so we always always want to keep that integrity of what the game of baseball is, but at the same time we're always trying to improve things. And because we're an annual title, we always look, okay, what didn't we quite hit on last year? Let's do that. Yep. So one of those things this year was the tagging system. You know, we completely rewrote the entire tagging system. That took a lot of time. Um, Chris Gill and Jeff Oldman decided, hey, you know, uh, Jeff, you kind of wrote the base running system. Maybe you should write the tagging system too because they kind of go together. So he did that. Uh, we have hundreds of new animations in the game. Actually, we have thousands of new animations in the game. We have hundreds of new batting stances, hundreds of new pitching motions. We have tons of bat flips. If you want to, you know, you want a little style in there, you can throw that in there. We have some new franchise features, which we're not talking about today, but we will be very soon. We've talked a little bit about Road to the Show. You know, Diamond Dynasty is continuing uh, to grow and be an awesome mode. So they can look forward to a pretty awesome baseball game. Hopefully. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was MLB The Show 18, which is coming out March 27th. If you pre-order on PlayStation Store or at major retailers, you can pick it up on March 23rd. Ramon Russell from San Diego Studio, thank you for joining me, sir. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. And until next time, folks, this has been PlayStation Underground. We'll see you soon. Thank you.